Only took a few hours. But hey, at least the sky's not red anymore. Finally, Jesus. Man. I'm not sure how to proceed. Should I even continue we'll being- figure it out. Yeah, and Shabibur, can we focus more on the fantasy adventure instead of that nightmare horror show you came up with? Uh... You're kind of sick, you know that? Kind of twisted? Must be all that Muslim anger inside you. I didn't come up with it. And I'm not Muslim. I didn't want to say Jewish because I'm not an anti-Semite. But now you're Islamophobic. That's actually really offensive. I expected better from you, Benji, but you call me such hurtful things. God damn it, Don, now's not the time to mess with Ben. Why are you guys so worked up and shook? We made it out alive, thanks to me. And we've got a nice ride, thanks to me. You didn't help at all. Hey! Are you forgetting Sleeping Beauty over there? He's the one who did nothing. Lazy! I hope Joey is okay. Guys. What the fuck? He's awake! Welcome back, Grandpa. Are you all okay? Of course, but are you? How did we make it out of Fleetwood? Well, after you died of old age, everyone else was panicking, worrying, and grieving for like half an hour. So I took charge and got us out of there. Okay, but what really happened? Talos disappeared. Then the boys hid. Then Obarman took charge. Bullshit. And carried you out because Paladon was too scared. Shut the fuck up. I helped by, uh, whatever. I needed to keep my arms free to hold my shield and protect you guys. Felt like we were wandering Fleetwood forever. But eventually this cart just shows up in the darkness. There's no driver either. Otherwise, I would have zone boned him. I'm still wondering how or why it came to us. Someone must have sent it. Who would do that? Hmm. He did say there were more forces at play here. What? Whoever it was, even if it's that rat bastard clown, it's taking us towards the big ass mountain with the next gem. So it all worked out in the end. Well, it certainly doesn't feel like it all worked out. Do you guys want to talk about it? No, it's fine. It's nothing. We'll get him. Next time, we won't hesitate. We'll strike that bastard as soon as we see him and make him pay for what he's done. I feel like that whole traumatic experience took years off my life. Then why did you make us go through Can it? Can we say from here on out, you'll stop accusing me of doing all this because I didn't, I didn't plan this. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We were so complacent after beating the Lochran, thinking we're untouchable, forgetting about Kalos. Then he comes back at the perfect time to remind us. So props to you, Ben, or Joey, or whatever. Props for the twist. Fuck. But was there something we could have done to prevent this? Could we have saved them if, if we, if I just did something else? Why couldn't I Stop save them? Stop whining. This is all just part of the story. And at the end, we'll beat him and all live happily ever after. But what was the point of all this death? Why, what did it accomplish for him? Ben's a sicko. I think he just wanted to beat your drone high score, so he let loose on Fleetwood, am I right? For fuck's sake, relax. That's a very insensitive thing to say on so many levels. Yeah, relax, Benjo. No, you need to relax, Don. And stop blaming me. I'm processing trauma, okay? So leave me alone. This is how I cope. All right, let's all relax. No, you relax. I am relaxed. Paladon, relax. Fuck you! Look, we all went through the tragedy, okay? But we'll push through it. Together. I mean, who cares anyway? They were just NPCs after all. None of it is real. Shut up. I know you care. Joey, you've been awfully quiet. How are you processing everything now that you're awake? Joey? What's the point? What? No matter what I say, you're not going to believe me. And I'm not sure how much of it is because you don't want to understand or because you're literally programmed to avoid understanding. Uh, you what, mate? What even happened to you in Fleetwood, buddy? You passed out? Was it a panic attack? Overwhelmed by fear? Dreaming about choir boys? Shut up. Whatever it was, and however you feel, Joey, you can say what's on your mind. Yeah, you know, we're always here to listen. Carlos spoke to me. Oh, yeah? I'm sure he did, Joey. How about you go back to sleep, sweetheart? No, let him talk. Why? It's gonna be another waste of time. Or maybe Joey's in character, and this is part of the story. Ooh, so you two are cooking it up together or something? That would make sense. No. Then I don't fucking know, man. This story's too complicated for me. Where's the babes and the monsters? I'm starting to think none of us know what's actually going on. Hmm. Or maybe one of us does. Joey. What did Kahlo say? Joey. Joey. Joey! None of this is real. And there it is. Everything is numbers. It's all mathematics. Code. Great. Keep going, Joey. You gotta be joking, right, Ben? There's no harm in listening. Right, right. Of course, you believe in religion, so you'd obviously enjoy listening to complete bullshit. Hey, that... 
Come on. I now. think you need Jesus. I'm already a god. Nope. A golden god. Joey, continue. Is it all hopeless? He knows about this world, about us, about what we all are more than anyone. And what are we? Humanity is on the outside, but we, we are trapped inside, here inside of something called destined story. It forms and generates worlds based on information from the outside world. Have you been seeing your doctor, Joey? Yeah. Um, I'm not sure how much of this is fantasy or the reality of Joey forgetting to take his... Um, Just say it, pussy. Your meds, Joey. Did you take them? I knew this was pointless. Forget it. No, Joey, uh, it's okay. Continue. Why are you guys indulging his bullshit? He's just being super senile. Super senile ultra instinct. Everyone's processing the loss of Fleetwood differently. I think, um, yeah, we should just let him do his thing. Yeah, Joey, let it all out. It's fine. No, 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 we'll listen. We're inside of Destin's story. Who the hell is Destin? Destined. Destin? Destined. Dustin? Tinned with a D, like destiny. Destiny story. The Destin story. Dustin. Destin. Oh, I get it. Dustin. As in you have dust in your ancient dusty brain? Joey, I said dust. He heard dust, what you said. But he's not even making a fat joke back. What the fuck? Something ain't right. You think? Joey always makes fat jokes with me. That's kind of our thing. I can make a fat joke if it makes you feel better. Yeah, I'm here for you, fatty. Hey, fuck you. Don't ever call me fat. But yeah, Joey, is there anything else you want to say about the um, destined story? It's fine. We can talk about it another time. Great. So can we play? Are we there yet? Um, oh yeah, sure. But this isn't even my story anymore. Yawn. So I'm not exactly sure how to do this. I think you guys can do a long rest until we make it to the mountain trail. Get some healing. How are we supposed to heal after what we've been through? Good point. We could really use some mental healing. Yeah, some psychiatric help. I have an old friend named Farah who could help, but I'm not sure where she is. Great story. Golly, she would help so many people going through trauma, like this one clergyman. He loved basketball. He'd always dunk holy water on his enemies. We'd call him the Bishop Hooper. Joey, what? His actual name was also Bishop Hooper. I'd say Joey's lost it, but I don't think he ever had it. Well, at least Joey's back to his normal no, self no, no, again. No, 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 no. Why won't it fucking stop? Never mind. Are these memories of the voices, or am I fucking losing it? Are they combined memories? What does any of this fucking mean? I never experienced any of this shit. Uh, <sighs> Joey, it's okay. Um, just stay with us. Don't worry about whatever you're um, hearing. I think we should all take a breather. And rest. Don't tell me what to do. Yeah, Joey, get some rest, buddy, please. I'm fine. Great, so Prez Amika continues to the mountain to get the gem and hopefully some mountain bitches. Let Ben do it. But why? He apparently doesn't know what's going on anymore. He apparently keeps saying it's not his story. Apparently... I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. I still don't understand what's really going on. But it's clear after what happened in Fleetwood that I'm not the dungeon master anymore. You never were. I... I guess I don't have much to offer anymore. Maybe I shouldn't be here. What? Hmm. You know what, Ben? Why don't you just join us in the adventure? You should make a character. Hmm. I think I'll sit this one out. Yeah, not like you can stand. You may not be a dungeon master, but you can still be our dungeon guide. Dungeon guide? Hmm. You mean like a watered-down DM observer? Just join as a character. I can push you into enemies. Um. Yeah, join, but not because of that. Hmm. I guess I just prefer observing. And I can adapt to the story with you guys, guiding you and narrating it to help you out. That way I won't get in your way by being in the story, but I can experience it with all of you. If you guys still want me around? Obviously, what sort of question is that? Yeah, what sort of bitchness is that? Sorry, I... Hmm. He can't join as a character because he must be programmed to narrate the story. Here we go again. He will narrate and say what he's willed to, relaying the language of NPCs without voices, guiding us with knowledge, to stay in line with his destined story. Joey is right. What? According to the holy books, God has a plan for us all. We all have a destined story under his will. No, that's not what I fucking meant. Huh? God and religion. If you knew what I knew, you'd know it's all bullshit. He said it, not me. Joey. It's okay, Joey. Joey, why do you keep flipping through different emotions? Is it that time of the month? All of us have some unprocessed emotions after what happened that need to be let out. So it's okay. You should do it too, Don. I don't need to. Sure, but maybe it'll come around eventually. Why would I grieve or care? They were just NPCs. Fuck. They were so nice. I think during these hard times, we can all come together and rely on a higher power. They were so nice. So don't fucking tell me any shit like everything happens for a reason, Benny. 
because it doesn't- Paladin's right. It's all just chaos. I'm sorry, but I disagree, and that's okay. Uh, I, I, I wasn't even meant to be born. I was an accident, a glitch, just like him. Joey, I can tell there's a lot on your mind, a lot more than any of us. So please, keep going and let it all out. Yeah, come on, buddy. I'm just, I'm so fucking confused. I knew it wasn't real, but why? Why do I feel like this? I thought I'd feel better after confirming the truth. Maybe ignorance really is bliss. Joey. Maybe I'd have been better off believing I'm crazy instead of knowing that none of this is real. What is real and what is unreal, Joey? You wouldn't get it, Becca. None of you understand. The only one who understands me is the one we have to kill. And yet, it seems hopeless. I don't fucking know how we're going to win. I don't know what to do with the gems. I don't know how to awaken myself or you. I don't know. How do we kill him? I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. We'll defeat him together. Just like everything else that's got in our way. But can we... Uh, what if he wins and I lose you all? I Shit. It's like no matter what we do, it'll lead to what he wants. No, we'll stop him. Yeah, come on, Joey. Calm the schizo behavior. We're Prez Amica. We can beat anyone. No, you, none of you fucking understand. I just have to accept that I'm alone. Joey, you're not alone. Yeah, we're still here. But no one fucking understands me. Joey, we may not understand, but we do love you. That has to count for something, right? Fuck. That counts. For everything. Jeez, I'm sorry. I, I just need time. It's all good, bro. We may not understand, but we'll keep trying. Trust in us. Man, this has all been a lot, and real sudden, fuck. I didn't realize how much it's affected you all. And me. Yeah. Kalos may have taken Fleetwood, but he won't take our hope. Shit. We're gonna be okay. But how do you know? There's always a chance for success. That's why we have these dice. Who knows what amazing possibilities await? Fuck, I don't know. I roll to give my boys a hug. <laughs>